Hello and welcome to this very special video that I have for you today where we are going to be going through the highly anticipated Champions Game Theory. This is a theory that has been created by Chart Champions where we understand the need of timing and entry. As we all know, within this market, you're going to see thousands of different people calling arbitrary levels at the end of the day, such as 300,000 or 20,000, 60,000. But we know you need to not only call a resistance, but also time the entry. How many times have you seen, you know, a correct level of resistance called only to get the short in at the level and then stopped out before the move happens? So the timing of the entry is one of the most important factors when it comes to trading. Otherwise, you will see yourself getting stopped out before the move actually occurs. And this is coming down to the timing of the entries. So within the champions game theory, we have two separate you know, bits of information that come together. It's the timing of the entries, and it really is thinking exactly like a market maker. You know, you've all heard the statistic that 95% of traders lose money, and I can <laughs> totally believe this statistic. Um, you know, this this market, of, you know, I've been trading this market a while now, and obviously tr a trader even longer. And, from the statistics I've built up on this market, as well as just the experience of doing this every day. Oh man, like, yeah, this, this market is definitely designed to wreck the highest number of traders, e.g. taking stop losses, moving it in the other direction, uh, front running really important levels, turning everybody into the opposite direction before, you know, turning everyone bullish before a drop, turning everyone bearish before a rise. It's, it really plays on the psychology and the emotions, and it, it is truly brilliant when you know how the market works and uh, you know hopefully from this video you will maybe a person that's in a pain from the market and you're going to start to change your minds of viewing this market in such a way that this this pain will eventually be turning to pleasure like i experienced in this market i call it bliss a pleasure and i love it and that is truly just because i really have figured out how this market is moving so in today's video, I'm going to share with you a few of these secrets. Um, so I hope that you really do enjoy. So to begin with, what we're going to talk about is the move to the top, obviously topping out at about $65,000. And we all know where we topped out at, and it was around the 16th of April 21. You know, if, you're, if you've been a subscriber for the last few months, at least, you'll, you'll know we're the, the massive amount of importance that we placed on that date. If you haven't been aware of this, I'm going to play a very quick 30 second clip from inside of the group where we're obviously predicting this level two years in advance. Let me just play this 30 seconds and we'll be right back. Uh, the date of the 3618, let's tell you a second. So uh, da, 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 da. if we come over to here, put on our Fibonacci time. The 3618 is coming in at uh, the 16th of April 21. Then the 4 is coming in. Ah, oh, it's off the chart. But uh, yeah, the, ne the next uh, date, it'd be the 16th of April 21. Okay, so 16th of April 21. So, as uh, you date, heard from this video, this was from a Champions live stream two years ago. I was predicting the 16th of April 2021 as the next major pivot on the chart. We kind of all know how this has gone by now. We've been talking about it a lot. But obviously, uh, yeah, that pivot was found two years ago, uh, the Fibonacci time pivot. And it really was influential to the Bitcoin tra trading strategy I used to short the market at, you know, 60 around $65,000 and also hold on to that short. Again, Fibonacci time is so powerful. Obviously, time the high to almost the day two years in advance. Obviously, when we take a closer look at this picture, we really see it really was, you know, the 16th of April day, absolutely influential. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a zoomed in view of this in a second. But obviously, we had the Fibonacci time coming in on the 16th of April. And obviously, this is an Elliott wave count again from a Champions live stream where we were looking at that wave three to come in here, you see on the 1618 extension at $65,000. So we had, you know, the Fibonacci extension to give us $65,000. We had Fibonacci time to give us the 16th of April, two years in advance. And then obviously we had CC pool for the power of the short. But when, when we zoom into the chart here, I really want to just show you exactly what we're looking at. So you see the high itself 
was put in on the 14th of April. And it wasn't until the 16th of April where we got the retest, for obviously the, the big drop to the downside. Okay, so when we pull on our FIPS and we'll pull it from the all time high down to that first low that was made, and you can see on the 16th of April is when we come up to test that CC. So this is when we get the massive short signal. Why? Because we're retesting CC on the exact turn of the 16th of April. Okay, and this is when I acknowledge, right, this is all coming together exactly as we've predicted two years in advance that we can see a major pivot high put in put on on the market right here right now on bitcoin this is the this is the time where you know men turn to legends we we have to take this trade i was ready and waiting for this talking about it consistently in the group on the 16th that we have reached this time pivot and you know what i want to talk to you here about is you know once again the importance of time in the entry when we zoom out on the chart if you just see this, is this a market that you're thinking about shorting? My answer, if I had no knowledge of the Fibonacci time, would be no. I would not even think about shorting this. It's an extremely strong uptrend. So what was the primary factor of why I was predicting such moves, you know, such as, as we just shown you, a move up to 65,000 before dropping 50% to the downside? and seeing a move to around $30,000. Well, it all come together, not only with the Elliott Wave count itself, but primarily for me, honestly, the primary reason was that Fibonacci time pivot. So it all came together, topping out around $65,000, coming in on the 16th of April to hit the CC. And that is what we call timing entries. You've, I've given countless examples of Fibonacci time where it, it predicts, you know, sometimes to the exact hour uh, you know, the exact minute when a move is literally going to occur. And this is the power of timing an entry. So you're not getting stopped out before the move happens. You're not missing it. You're ready and waiting for the day, for the time to come up into your level of confluence to take the trade. Again, we are risking 3% on this short position. You know, 3% because I obviously have my stop loss just a bit above the high. And so I was risking 3% on that trade for a massive short position from $63,000 to $32,000 obviously where I closed it in the end. So that all really did come down to Fibonacci time, being aware of that level two years in advance, know that it's very likely that we're going to push up to this 65k before the drop, ready, patient, no emotion. And I honestly can say I had absolute full confidence in that trade where everybody else was extremely, extremely bullish. Hey, I knew what we had in front of us. And well, the rest is history. We all know how that short obviously went in the end. Absolutely amazingly. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach a, I think the clip is about four minutes long. I'm going to attach a clip which is going to talk you through now the next section of the video, which is, you know, really this sort of the way the market makers move this market. And I know this from experience, not just because of being a Bitcoin well, but just because of I've seen this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So if it both comes together really to give a bit of an edge. But, um, you know, I really want to talk you through now the market maker way of moving this market to truly wreck the majority of people. And when you understand why and how this market moves, you can join in on it. And it, it really is it really is a, a pleasure. Uh, to be honest, it's a it's a great deal of fun. So I want to talk you through this now. I'm going to attach a about a four minute clip, I believe, to the video now, which is a clip from a Champions live stream. Champions live stream that I done, um, you know, talking them through my basically uh, prediction of the market. So watch that video, and we'll be back in a few minutes time. But I think like a Max Payne. So I always try and trade as well, like what would wreck the most amount of people. And I think that this is a really, really, really obvious place to buy. Yeah, I think probably everybody's looking to buy like 45K. I think it looks pretty obvious. So what would not surprise me almost is if everybody's looking to buy this. Now, I think this is obvious place to buy, you know. Back into an SR flip. Swing failure pattern. Don't you think that is like an obvious buy? So what would not surprise me so much is if in rather than hitting like 40, let's say 42,000, 44,000, which looks like a very obvious place to buy, that we actually do in fact get 
the cipher everybody waiting to buy you know 43 42k you front run it and you do something like this there you actually have just put in an a and then we get a really big rally for the b and then ultimately we come back down for the c like that would destroy so many people because if they're waiting potentially to buy here and it front runs them and then it rallies how many times have we seen this like rallies and then everybody will switch really bullish back up here and all it is is a wave b for coming down for the c and we end it actually down at around for surprise 30, 30, 30, 36 32 came how long have we been waiting for that um you know that that for me would make sense So what you just saw there was a clip from my Champions live stream where I was talking through the team exactly what I was looking for with a move down to front run, everybody looking to buy here, a rally to the upside, which turns everybody bullish before ultimately dropping back down again. Obviously, that is in the end, we can all agree that's exactly what happens. And I'll talk you through now each step of the way why this really did happen. Well, the first step was obviously another move to the downside for you know, to end point D of the harmonic, which is obviously our cipher harmonic pattern. And this is what I was looking at in the time. So again, this is from the 25th. And when we zoom into the chart and the prediction I was giving, it was, okay, let's come down to swing failure pattern, the current low of 47K before the rally really starts. Okay, so that was the prediction that I was making. And again, this is a trade I was sharing from my personal trading journal not every day i'm going to be doing this and you know it all come together for a swing failure pattern prediction to give us the low of the cipher there again back on the 25th of april that's when i was sharing that in the group of exactly what i was looking for on the 25th of april well obviously all went exactly as predicted as we did get the rally to the upside so as we can see that was the swing failure pattern that we were looking for we hit the swing failure pattern we hit the low of d and then we're looking for this rally to the upside. So point number one that you're going to want to write down is why did this front run the level everybody was looking to buy? OK, so everybody was bullish for about forty four, forty two thousand dollars to buy. So what happens by doing the swing failure pattern, by pushing price up, everybody waiting for lower prices misses out. And this is a common occurrence and one of my favorite when everybody's looking at the same level. Oh, boy, CC pool. <laughs> <laughs> faces like that because we know it's going to be happening again everybody waiting for this certain level everybody's talking about it it's, it's not going to work it's just not going to work so yeah this came together absolutely perfectly swing failure pattern and the cipher push to the upside and obviously in that prediction we had the elliott wave count and if we just hide this one a second obviously the move up that we were looking for to give us our b wave obviously from that prediction that we were looking at and we zoom in here again. This was then given back on the 26th, the next day, where we exactly were looking for. So my prediction is, okay, we've finished the low of A with the swing failure pattern, with the front run. Now we're going to push this up to around $60,000. I had confidence in this, and I must admit, very high confidence. We're going to be pushing up here to around 60000 Why? You can see here, I'm actually predicting that we're going to go just above the CC. And I'm pretty aware now that a lot of people are um, watching our content and, and, you know, using these levels. So it's like, OK, if everybody's looking at the CC, um, you know, let's breach it slightly. Let's get above this level again. This is going to just turn even more people bullish. Even more people are going to think right with break resistance it's, it's good to go. But this is the factor, second factor that I had on this. Not only that we hit the Fibonacci time pivot, by the way, for a one-to-one -one <laughs> on the low there, but also this. This was a fractal that I had running for myself, um, which I was really aware of. This is also going to see us push up to around $60,000. So I had a brilliant fractal that sees the short squeeze before a very big drop, very quick drop. So I had the fractal running, which would give us to around $60,000. But I also had the Elliott wave count, which will see us push above the CC to around that $60,000. And as we all know, again, predicted it and it is exactly what happened. We pushed up just above the CC to $60,000. Everybody turned very bullish. Well, what's the recipe? Well, the recipe is that we're looking now for a quick move to the downside. Why? Because we had completed the cipher harmonic 
Yeah, the cipher harmonic completes the CC. So this is, you know, that that's complete. You also end in a swing failure pattern. So you had everything lining up here. And then obviously you start to see, you know, market scared and spooked. And, you know, the, the downtrend really was, you know, swift. Let's just say that the downtrend really was swift. OK, so that really that gave us the top of B. So the two factors that we've talked about thus far is the front run of everybody waiting to buy. They miss out and they're forced to buy and hire. They're forced to buy and hire around the CC where guess what is happening here? Everybody is flipping back bullish. While everyone was bearish here, we were obviously buying, literally buying at $47,000 on the swing failure pattern. So we were bullish when everyone was bearish. And then back into, well, actually, I was neutral at the time here because we were in a sideways range. I was aware of the higher term time frame resistance and obviously happy to go into swing trades. But we were in a sideways range there for just over two weeks. It was a it was a brilliant trading range. And ultimately, we broke down from the range. And what do we say when we break down from a range? You do expect follow through. Open interest was increasing. Perfect opportunity to see much lower prices. OK, and that's obviously pretty much exactly what happened. Uh, managed to actually get into short positions for my swings there on two then separate accounts. I had that one that was running off of 51,800, which is where I was, um, you know, originally short from 63 and was adding on heavily at around that 60K region of, of the B wave. I also simultaneously had the short still running, of course, from $63,000. So I was at the time in two very nice short positions, obviously from the highs here on the 16th of April, and then compounding a secondary short from, you know, the CC region. And then we obviously start to break down very, very, very heavily. OK, um, the breakdown, very swift. And we obviously come down in the end to, you know, the, the higher term time frame target of $32,000. What was this? Well, that was the looking for our fourth wave. So we obviously predicted the rise to around 65, took our shorts, happily held on to those for swing trades, taking it down to around thirty one thousand dollars obviously my target myself being thirty two thousand dollars the absolute low of the move was thirty thousand dollars fifty percent decrease in price occurred many people were even people you know many people were doubting me saying i'm crazy saying this is never going to happen you're going to get wrecked short in this market and hey it literally went exactly as predicted not just the higher term time from elliott wave counts but also back on the lower term time frames you know when we're looking at the you know the drop the rise the drop really able to time these entries with such precision and then also the market maker theory of here just really reading this market it's really like here's the market i'm reading it like the back of my hand you know I, i'm playing 5d chess i'm playing the moves with the market knowing what's going to wreck the most amount of people know we got a front run here know we got to breach the cc slightly here you know it's it, it's 5d chess you know i'm playing 5g by 5D chess while everybody else is playing checkers. You know, we're, we're ahead of the market, thinking ahead of the market in such a way, which is just really offering a total edge. And we obviously then see a move down to 32, as you all know, if you've been following along. That's $63,000 with no hesitation. Preset orders closed at $32,000. That was Operation Shakeout complete. 63K short to 32K. As you all know, I did go long off of 32K. Preset orders ready and waiting. Um, you know, I was waiting for that for months and it occurred exactly as predicted. We took that long position. Obviously, we had a massive 40% bounce in a day, 40% bounce in one day. That is absolutely massive. 40% bounce in a day. We obviously came back up to test $42,000, which, you know, you've been watching along. It was a simple case of back into resistance, you know, support into resistance. We obviously come down to 35k another level <laughs> predicted by myself but um you know that's another dis each step of the way we've been calling the lows calling the highs calling front runs calling breaches calling the levels of support resistance even the day these resistances will come in you know called the high of the bitcoin market two years in advance like that doesn't really show you or you know inspire you to think wow this market is totally uh, being you know able to be traded very 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 precisely not just the levels themselves but the days this is going to happen years in advance well i don't really know what to say if you don't if you're not impressed by that um obviously we've done this all we've traded it all together and you know people are joining us and, and making serious amounts of money and i thought i'd end with one little bonus one little bonus for you all 
And that is, uh, you know, on this downwards move, a lot of people are blaming it on Elon Musk, of course, with Elon Musk tweets. I've got a little bonus for you here. And that was back in February, obviously before the massive move to the downside. I was also saying, you know, Elon can pump the market with one tweet. He can also destroy this market with one tweet. And here, back on the 16th of February, saying to people, and when the crash happens, they will say, oh, it's because of a Musk tweet or something similar. Okay, when the crash happens, it will be massive on Bitcoin. We were ready and waiting for this crash. We have been predicting the levels way in advance. And again, if people are going to come here and say it's because of Elon Musk, we're not going to, I'm not going to argue with them. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say, hey, we done this prediction way before Elon Musk. So that's all I'm going to say. That's <laughs> the rest is up to you. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody so much. Obviously, we've had so many people making so much money with us recently. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, the best way to crew. <laughs> The best way to predict future levels is to create reactions at them yourself. Amen. CC pool, run the market. If you'd like more videos like this, if you'd like to see these predictions way before they happen, then this is obviously what we offer at chartchampions.com, where I do give all of the education, give the education, teach people how to do it, as well as obviously giving you trades like this as you know, on, on, on the side. So, you know, you've got all the education, which I think is the best in the world right now. And, you know, you've got some of the, literally the best traders in the world calling this market. And this video was designed to be created to show the importance of timing and entry, because it's all well and good to enter. But if you get stopped out before the move happens, hey, it's no good to you. <laughs> so timing of the entry is important. And also the reading of this market in a way of understanding this market is designed to wreck the majority of traders. So if you want to turn that pain into pleasure you really got to understand the champions game theory hope you've enjoyed any questions let me know and i'll catch you in the next one have a brilliant day thank you ever so much and ending with a very quick example this is from the live trading accounts that i'm running for the champions One hundred and forty thousand dollars profit in a few days of trading on this particular account hit and take profit one yesterday. Today, we've got another two Bitcoin of unrealized profit. That is about $80,000 at current prices. A few days of trading. How are we doing this? Sticking to the plans. It's originally doing the technical analysis, making our plans, and then really simply executing and follow through. This account in particular, once again, we've hit another million dollar account. We are doing this week on week on week on week on week consistently. And, you know, that's the aim of the game, consistency and continuously making incredible trades. Again, we don't so focus on the money. That's irrelevant. It's about the processes. And hey, I think we've got the processes and the setups locked down right now. If that sounds interesting to you to learn more, stay tuned. More to come from us. CC Pool, send their regards exactly as predicted. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.